Hey, how's it going, folks? Well, a bunch of news today and some major news, one being Matt Hardy, who is expected to leave WWE when his contract does expire March 1st. This comes according to Dave Meltzer in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. I guess Matt Hardy pitched an idea to WWE to revive his broken character, but they weren't interested And as of right now, it does look like he will be leaving the company. Where he goes, nobody knows, but a lot of people are speculating, including Meltzer, that he is heading to AEW, and Meltzer did speculate that he may actually be revealed as the leader of the Dark Order. Matt Hardy's brother Jeff does have additional time on his contract, an additional year, so he won't be leaving anytime soon due to his injury as he had additional time added, but it does look like Matt Hardy is expected to leave WWE when his contract does expire March 1st. Another big name we've been talking about a lot is Marty Skrull. It does look like Ring of Honor is actually close to finalizing a new deal with Skrull. According to Mike Johnson or a PW Insider, backstage talk suggests that Skrull and ROH are close to coming to terms on a new deal. This new deal will have Skrull remain with Ring of Honor and take on additional responsibilities for the company. As of a few days ago, no deal has been reached, but Dave Meltzer did note that WWE, anything that they would offer, ROH is basically offering similar type of money, so main roster money with less dates, so he'd only be working like 40 dates per year in Ring of Honor, and he'd have certain unique perks. So Marty Skrull's contract ended on the 30th, of November last year, he's booked for Ring of Honor up until the uh, Ring of Honor's Super Card of Honor weekend, which is WrestleMania weekend. Additional dates have not been booked and no deal has yet to be signed, but they are close to finalizing a deal. Lastly, the Revival. They have yet to sign new contracts with WWE, but according to Fightful Select, WWE has made continued efforts over the last eight months to re-sign the Revival. Last year, WWE offered Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson $550,000 $550,000 each per year to sign new multi-year deals with the company. And at the same time, WWE was able to re-sign Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson to new deals, which did come with significant higher downside guarantees. WWE's current offer with the Revival has approached or exceeded higher guarantees than Gallows and Anderson. The company has also offered a reduced schedule for the team as they worked in excess of 150 dates in 2019. The report does state that WWE is throwing everything at the Revival and they're just saying, we will let you know. That being said, any other details do emerge. We'll definitely keep you posted. And as always, don't forget to DDT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos. And have a great day.